time to next one. Damon Jackson versus Daniel Argenta. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I was a Damon Jackson doubter. I took one look at that guy's hairline, and I was like, oh, there's no shot. But um, he was cut from the UFC back in 2016, going 0-2-1, filing a drug test. Then he moved to Fortis MMA in 2017, and in 2020, during COVID, he, they gave him another shot. Um, since then, he's gone three and one, two subs. His only loss from Ilya Taporia. He's a lifelong wrestler, BJJ purple belt. His striking is kind of questionable. Uh, he's taken on new, UFC newcomer Daniel Argetta, who has an 8 0 record, was on tough, lost in the first round to Ricky Tercios. Then went on a three fight winning streak in the LFA. Just took this fight last week at a higher weight class after Derek Minor got a concussion, who was supposed to face Damon Jackson. Argetta is young, decent prospect, but short notice, higher weight class with a matchup against a, a wrestler. Um, yeah, I, I expect Damon Jackson being a little heavier to really play a part in this. So I'm going to go with Damon Jackson. And I think um, he's like at like a minus 500 right now. So the odds makers are saying that same. Thing.